All right, let's see how long this lasts. The sun is baking my front windshield. Anyways, um, I'm here at the vet appointment that I have scheduled for Riley. She needs to get a heartworm test. She needs to get two vaccines, distemper and bordetella. And then I need um, a rewrite of her prescriptions for Simparica and Interceptor Plus, which are her heartworm and flea and tick medication that I give to her on a monthly basis. <sighs> yeah, I usually take her just once a year. Um, I don't really see the point in bringing them in unless they actually have something wrong with them or just for a regular checkup. I decided to buy another desk because now that I'm working remotely, I need my own workstation. So I bought another desk, it's arriving tomorrow and I'm gonna put it together. Um, I have a spare keyboard, my Philco pink one that I will be using, mechanical, brown switches. I love that keyboard, so, so excited to be using it regularly again. And then I have my spare Steel Series Sensei white mouse. I'll give that a try. The main reason I stopped using it is because the left click started to not register sometimes and it was very noticeable when gaming. I think left and right click maybe had issues. So if that starts to get annoying while I'm working, then I'll buy another one. And then I need to buy a mouse pad. I feel like at this point I can only use extended mouse pads. Those are my favorite. I just don't like the possibility of my mouse to like reach the edge of my mouse pad. So obviously it could reach the top right and the bottom edge of the mouse pad, but that doesn't seem to happen very often. I just don't want there to be some um, barrier type of feeling between my mouse pad and my keyboard. So I like to have it just completely all around. This Friday is my last day of work. So I have a lot of free time for next week and I'm a little bit bummed, surprisingly, that I don't have something like New World to play. I've been really, really bummed about that because I have so much time right now and I want to grind a game, but New World isn't coming out until end of September. Hi, so I am home. It is Tuesday and I guess I kind of wanted to talk about what I've been up to because sometimes people like to hear about those things. So today, Let's see. So earlier, I was talking a little bit. I brought Riley to the vet, and the visit turned out to be more than I thought it would be, but that's mainly because I got a refill of her flea and tick medication, so that by itself was 150. And I got, so this is the one that I got, Semperica Trio. Basically, this is similar to what I was giving her previously. I was giving her Semperica, which I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was probably flea and tick or heartworm, one of those. And this is actually a combination. So it's flea, tick, heartworm, roundworm, and hookworms. And the good thing is that I feel like it is definitely more cost effective because my other ones, I believe I was getting three months supply for $50 each, which means that I was paying about like $100 every three months. And then this is 150 for six months. So I am saving a bit of money there. And then she got her vaccines and all of that. After that, I came home. I played a little bit of Valorant. That's not really a game that I've been playing often. And honestly, I notice every single time that I play these online games, I, every day, every gaming session, I play something multiplayer, I come across Pathetic Gamers and, um, it just makes it very difficult to even want to play a multiplayer game like that. I went to walk in Blossom Valley. That's somewhere that I really like to take Riley walking. So I usually walk like two miles-ish there and it was around a really nice and cool time. So now that I am home, I am cooking. Cooking is something that I need to do more often. It's not something that I like to do, but I do it to save money on food. Otherwise I'm spending a lot. So I am making broccoli. I'm making potatoes, mushrooms, I'm gonna add a little bit of green onions to that, and then I'll make myself some eggs at the end. So these are my broccoli. I make my broccoli very, very basic, but I love it. Basically, this is how my mom used to make it. It's very, very simple. I add in some oil. Um, I think I am using olive oil right now. I add in some oil, I put in some garlic, let it cook just a little bit, and then I add in broccoli and then I throw in some water. And basically that helps to make the broccoli soften, right, with the water. And then eventually at the very end, I add salt. That's it. And I think it tastes amazing like that. Very nice and simple. My potatoes, 
I have not figured out um, a good way to cook my potatoes yet. I think I need to definitely add in at least some salt. Normally I haven't been, but maybe salt and black pepper is good enough for me. Here I've got my mushrooms for when the potatoes are much softer and everything, and then eggs for the very end. And then here we have Milo. Mm. And then there we have Samuel. Sammy, you say hi. And then here we have the puppers, being a cute one. I really like her behavior whenever I'm cooking. Just laying there being calm, not crowding me or anything. Unlike this guy. Okay, so the new desk that I ordered is arriving tomorrow. And I decided, so this is the far corner of my living room. So I was thinking that I would put it over there. Um, I do have a nice little nook area in my bedroom that would work well for a desk. But the thing is, I don't want to buy a second chair. So if I put it over there, it would conveniently allow me to move this chair back and forth depending on <laughs> what desk and what area I want to work in. In the future, ideally, I want to have my desk not in the living room. I want to have my desk and my workstation in a separate room with a closed door. And then that would allow for me to have my TV. And then I want to buy a separate media PC that will operate my TV. That way, my living room is just not so crowded because right now I have to put my computer next to my TV because I connect to it with an HDMI in order to watch stuff but I don't want my computer always out here. I feel like it's susceptible to a lot of hair. Um, there's always stuff on my desk because of this guy. He jumps up there and I'm not a big fan of that. Normally when I'm around, they don't go up there, but if I'm not home or if I'm sleeping, they will. But I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I wanna do with all of that. The desk that I bought is fully. So for this desk, the legs, the base is actually fully. Um, the desktop is by Herman Miller, but it was too tall normally. So I decided to buy the base in order to lower it down to like 21 inches, I think is what it's at. It is Wednesday and soon I have a meeting for work where I need to do a knowledge transfer to two people who are taking over the tool that I was maintaining. And then after that, I have a 30 minute meeting with same people, plus my manager and a couple others. Um, I really hope these should be fast meetings because I'm leaving. I'm done. My last day is on Friday, so I can't actually make additional changes until then. On Friday morning, I need to go in and turn in my laptop and then pick up my things that are in the office, not many things, and then I'm done. Next week, I have a week off, and then I start my new job. I wanted to come in here and talk about what I've been up to. So, uh, nothing really that exciting, but I have been reading history. So right now I'm reading the story of Egypt. Before this, I read about Alexander the Great. So when it comes to this book, I will say that it is interesting. I do think Egypt is very, very interesting. However, it gets very confusing sometimes because there's a ton of Egyptian names. So something that I notice that I tend to do is I always try to pronounce the names in my head, right? That's kind of what we're doing. But when it comes to some of these names, they are a bit more complicated and they take time to pronounce it through. So since I'm not actually saying it out loud, I'm like, you know, I can just skip over the name and just like acknowledge that it's a name as I'm reading and just continue on but it does get a little bit tricky. I feel like I'm not actually reading the content of the book, I'm just reading. So after a sentence is read through, I don't actually know what I'm reading. I'm just reading the words and I'm not actually thinking about what it's saying. I have this idea in my head that every single book I read, I'm gonna remember a ton of details about it. But even though I really enjoyed reading about Alexander the Great, I'm not sure I could regurgitate any detail about that book outside of really basic stuff like he didn't really take on a wife for a long time, he didn't show interest in women for a long time, didn't want to get married for a while, and was more focused on conquering. And then his first wife 
ended up being somebody that was not a Macedonian, but a, from somewhere else. I don't remember where, but stuff like that, you know, details like that. I can't remember, you know, every single battle. I know that he did win a massive battle where he was really outnumbered by the Persian army, but that's kind of where I'm at with this book where I can't really think about every single king they have mentioned, every single how many wives they had, or just like, all I know is that they started building pyramids. And um, I think it was mentioned that they ran out of space while they were trying to go underground. So they decided to make it above ground, which is how we have pyramids now. Sometimes I do feel a little disappointed that as I'm reading, I can't remember details as I'm going but I think our brain just kind of picks and chooses what to remember and I still, I'm a completionist. I am gonna finish reading this book, but I can tell for now, I think, I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed Alexander. But I do need to pick my next history book, so I am about, I'm 146 pages into this book and this book has about 368 pages and then yeah I want to figure out what I want to read next my brother is a big history buff so he was telling me you know the Peloponnesian War is interesting he's telling me about China he really likes Chinese history and I'm not really sure what I want to read about so far I've read about Alexander the Great I read about Queen Victoria and I read about the first 12 Caesars and the book that I got for that was written by a Roman historian, but the formatting of it I didn't quite like, and it was very brief on each person, so I don't really feel like um, I absorbed a lot of it. The author for my Alexander the Great book actually wrote a book on Julius Caesar as well, so I might consider reading that in the future just because I liked how he wrote Alexander the Great. but. I don't want to go back to Roman history just yet. I wanted to see if my parents were ready for me to go visit them. Oh, that's actually something I haven't talked about yet. So a couple years ago, my parents bought a house in Vegas, right? And I had to go there and help co-sign because I needed to be on the title. So since then, they have always planned on wanting to sell their New Jersey house, but they put it off because of COVID. So then, early this spring, my dad finally put his house up for sale and he was able to get it sold within two weeks at a higher price than he anticipated. So that's all really, really great news. And the good thing is that he has had this house in Vegas the entire time that he can fall back on and not have to worry about, oh, I wanna sell this house, but now I need to buy one. They went through the whole process and they finally moved into their Vegas house on August 10th and they have been there trying to organize everything. They brought so much stuff. My mom is a hoarder, so they have so much furniture. They showed me, we did a video call and they showed me everything inside their house and it looks very, very crowded, but they still have more things coming. They have, my dad said like 50 to 60 boxes. I really hope that they minimize their stuff because while we were living there growing up, there was just a shitload of stuff. So my memory of our closets and certain desks was basically piles of shit stacked inside, like nothing was organized. There was this one desk that they showed me during the video call and I had forgotten that it existed because while we were living at home, it was in the kitchen. And the whole purpose of it was to put shit on. <laughs> we didn't use it for anything else. So to see it empty of things and like sitting there like real furniture, I was like, oh wow. They still have their boxes coming next week and their cars haven't arrived yet. It's gonna arrive next week as well. So I think in the meantime, they're using a rental car. They're not really the type of people to go out much. So I think not having a car isn't a big deal for them, but it's kind of cool that my entire family is on the West Coast now because um, whenever I would talk to my parents, I would have to remember, oh, they're three hours ahead. But now we're all on the West Coast. My brother's in San Francisco, my parents are in Vegas, and here I am in San Diego. And since I had the week off next week, I was thinking it would be nice to go and see them and visit. And plus, the thought of driving somewhere, again, even if it's somewhere I don't prefer, like Vegas, I'm not a big fan of Vegas. I'd say the only thing I like in Vegas is the O Show for a certain way. <laughs> and um, they have a Ding Tai Fung there, so I would enjoy eating there. And I would enjoy eating there with my parents, actually. I haven't eaten Chinese food with my parents in a long ass time, so 
I was looking forward to that. But it has only been like two weeks since they moved in, which might be a bit rushed. And if I went, I would be bringing my dogs, maybe my cats if they're open to it. But yeah, it's not, it's too soon. All right, my desk frame arrived. The legs are going to arrive tomorrow. And I'm gonna spend some time now trying to put this together. All right, it's a mess in here. So my desktop is not here. My legs are here, so I put this and this together. And then the next step is to screw them onto the desktop. So I don't wanna do other extra steps, like for example, this, the that desk leg is gonna be screwed onto the bottom of that. And I don't feel like doing that just yet. I feel like it would be best to do it in the proper order, just in case I might get in the way later of like, you know, trying to screw on something. So I kind of fucked up because <laughs> now I'm too lazy to put everything away. I mean, there are definitely aspects where, you know, those boxes, I can probably stack them on top of each other and put them all. Yeah, I'll just, I'll do that. So this is not just left like this until tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Thursday. So one more day before I turn in my laptop tomorrow and I am going to head out to eat lunch with my friend James soon and I have been looking forward to this lunch for a long time. Not just because it's nice to talk to him but because I have been craving Ding Tai Fung so hard these past few days. Um, I was supposed to go on Tuesday just two days ago just by myself for a dine-in and then I scheduled my vet appointment for Riley and that was like the only convenient time they had so I canceled my lunch. I've been <laughs> I've been so desperate trying to find something to play. I played some Sims 4 Cottage Living. So when I saw that that expansion was out, I was like, "Ooh, living off a farm. That sounds like the life that I want to live." So, let me just try to live it in Sims 4. And it was fun for a short period of time. The first night that I played it, I played till like 4 to 5 a.m. But now it's just getting really, really repetitive, right? Sims for longevity, non-existent for somebody like me. So I've been jumping around. I tried playing Tropico 6 and um, that got boring in like two minutes. <laughs> it's All of them feel very, very similar to each other. So yeah. And then what else? I don't know. There isn't much else for me to try. I downloaded City Skylines again, and I'm gonna try to play that a little bit. But aside from that, yeah, there are definitely other things for me to do. I'm not so eager to force myself to play something that I don't enjoy myself. But yeah, I am so bummed that New World isn't out because I did, it's so surprising to me. Yeah, while I was playing it, I had my complaints, but it was still fun. I, towards the end, it just felt kind of pointless to play because everything will be wiped and you will have to grind things over again. So for example, me grinding mining or lumberjack logging, whatever the fuck it's called, that's a waste. And uh, I was feeling okay with it ending because I was thinking, oh, two to three weeks and then it's going to be back with an official release and then they delayed it till the end of September. But on the other hand, what did I want to say? Oh, so I have been trying to visualize and set up my home workstation. So my idea for now is very, very basic, right? I just want a separate desk. That way I don't have to, there's no space on this desk anymore. This desk is pretty wide. I think it's 60 inches, but with two monitors, it's not going to fit. So I wanted a separate desk and um, I just want double everything. So. I have my keyboard that I will be picking up tomorrow. And then I have my old Steel Series white mouse that I will be using. If that gives me trouble because of the reason I replaced it, the left and right click wasn't always registering, then I will get another one. And then last night in the middle of the night at like 4 a.m., I woke up and I saw through my email that Steel Series alerted me that their extended mouse pads QCK um, extra large, I believe that it's back in stock. So I ordered that because I think after, I've been using an extended mouse pad for a very, very long time. Yeah, it's been a really long time since I've been using them, five to six years, I think, and I love them. So I don't want to, even though it's a workstation and I'm not gonna be gaming over there, I still really like that setup. So I bought that and then it should be arriving, hopefully in a couple days. 
And then another thing, one small thing that I was thinking of that I would really like is a plant, a small plant. I feel like that would be nice. I feel like here on this desk, it's a bit too crowded for that. Like I have these two monitors and even if I have a plant behind it, I don't feel like I would enjoy it in the same way because it's be, it would be blocked. It would be behind the monitor. So if that makes any sense, I want a clear line of sight with my plant to feel like I could fully enjoy it. So that's just one of my other ideas that I will consider. Maybe not something I will get right away, but I am really, really excited about setting up a second workstation because when it comes to writing, I don't have a convenient place to write. Um, I always write on the edge of my desk over here. This is my small writing area and it's just way too small. So you can see how like that's the only open area I have on my desk. Monitor arms, there's definitely nothing I can do right here. And then over here, there's just definitely no space as well. But yeah, I don't know if anybody noticed. Not that people really care about these things, but I bought a new notebook. So I wanted to have a notebook for work that I could start from the very beginning, write down everything, write down notes, write down maybe like tasks, stuff like that. So in here, I won't show because I was writing just like the interview process, what day I applied, and then what days I had my interview, and then what day I got my offer and then just a couple like onboarding email tasks that I need to keep track of before my first day. So I love this notebook, feels so silly, but when it, when it comes to like writing stuff or writing, what do you call it, stationary, it kind of gets me excited. So I have this one, this is by Claire Fontaine. Usually when I wanna buy anything writing related, I go to gouletpens.com because that's where I ordered my fountain pen. This is Monte Verde. And then I also have I also have this five year memory book, some lines a day. So I randomly came across this and basically it's just like let me find a random page that doesn't have anything bad on it. Anyways, okay, so it looks like this. So it has lines for every single year, five years, and then you just write in it every single day. Um, I have been very, very consistent. There are some days that I don't write in it, but I will never go more than one day without writing in it. So for example, if I miss a day, the next day I will make up for it and write two days worth, but never more than that. Otherwise my memory of my day is completely gone. I am, it's very interesting because I can just go back and I know this is kind of like a journal, but it's like a shorter journal. One thing that I'm trying to keep in mind when it comes to this is it's not a journal of my day. So for example, I tend to, when it comes to this, I always sit down and start writing my day from beginning to end. I go like, oh, I woke up at this time, did this, did this, did this, had lunch, did this, did this. Like, it doesn't always have to be that way. Sometimes if something happens in the middle of the day that tends to be something that I focused on a lot or brought on a lot of emotional response, stuff like that, then I will try to tell myself to fixate on writing how I felt about that event and just any of my thoughts and feelings regarding it because that's basically what a memory book is about. In two years, I don't need to give a fuck that I ate oatmeal for breakfast, right? So I'm trying to remind myself of that, but but most of my days are just a schedule of what happened because there are not often many days where I have something ultra memorable that happens. It would just be nice to have like a separate area to sit down and write without having to rearrange and move things. So that will be kind of annoying when it comes to the new desk because yeah, I will have, you know, my mouse pad and my keyboard, and my mouse sitting there, but I think the way that I'm gonna approach it is after work is over, I'm gonna grab my mouse pad with all of my peripherals on it and I'm gonna shift it up and then that will leave me to have open space to sit down and write anytime I want to. Maybe try to make that a habit. That way, anytime it's not time to work, I can just sit down and write without having to move anything. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, I need to head out in about 30 minutes. So, just wanted to sit here and talk a little bit. Hi, I am back from lunch with James. 
and uh, that was a long lunch. We talked a long time, and it was a great talk. Had a lot of things that I wanted to discuss. Um, one of the things that I've been wondering about a lot is where will I move to? My lease ends soon, and I have kind of convinced myself that, of course, now is the right time for me to live somewhere more ideal, aka somewhere more out in the country, because that's what I love. So I do hope to do that around here in San Diego, but the problem is I don't really want to pay more rent. And um, my parents have moved to Vegas, so they have been talking a lot about me living out there and paying less on rent and lower cost of living expenses, but I don't feel like I would enjoy living out there. Um, there's nothing out there for me. There's no nature out there. It's just desert. I don't enjoy any of that. If I lived there, I would find myself home a lot more than I would like. And just a couple things that I need to think through, really think about pros and cons, saving money, but having a less quality of life on a day-to-day -day basis or staying here and paying more. Anyways, I'm gonna put my desk together right now and uh, just kind of relax a bit. I do feel like I have been out for a long time this afternoon, so I wanna just chill. All right, I have finally finished setting up my desk. It did not take as long as I thought and it was pretty straightforward. I just didn't realize how freaking rough it is on your back. By the time I was done, my back was hurting a lot, but I like it. It goes lower than this frame over here. And I think it is pretty much the perfect width. Um, now that I envision my workstation, <laughs> I do feel like if I have two monitors, I might not end up having any space for a plant, but I might just end up doing one monitor in my laptop so this is a little bit higher than the lowest it can go. It goes pretty low. I think it goes down to 21 inches, but there I'm pretty much always going to keep my writing stuff on this table. That is my spare Steel Series Sensei mouse. And I actually spent time cleaning everything. So I even used my earwax picker to like go through these little crevices to get out the dirt and grime. And I wiped it down for it to be ready to be used for work all nice and clean. But um, it's got those, I think you call it the grommets for when I need to put cables through there in the future. But in the meantime, I'll use this as my little writing station. And uh, when somebody else comes over, if they ever stay over, they can use this as their working desk if they want. Anyways, I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I wanna go for a walk, but I think I will just to kinda feel like get my last bit of fresh air out, maybe walk it off a little bit, and then I can close up for the night. So I'm gonna take her for a little bit of a walk right now.